Today, we will be making baskets. Basket weaving is a tradition that has been around for hundreds of years all around the world. To make our baskets today, we are going to be using a paper plate as our base. So, to make our loom, take something round and trace around it with your pencil to make a circle in the middle of the paper plate. Then, draw seven lines coming out of the circle to the edge of the plate. It has to be an odd number of lines or the weaving won't work properly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, we need to cut along these lines to the edge of the circle, like this. Until you have something that looks a little bit like this. Kind of looks like a flower. The next thing we need to do is cut two diagonal lines on the edge of each cut. We need to cut a V shape in the middle of them. To do this, cut down along the in a diagonal line at the edge of each cut we just made, like this. Don't worry if they get stuck like this, you can just pull them off, very gently. Now, clear all that mess out of the way, and we have our loom. Place your finger at the edge of each circle and just bend the cuts up to make more of a bowl shape, like this. Now we're ready to start weaving. So, take your yarn. If you're using a ball of yarn, make sure you have loads of free string and that it doesn't get tangled. So, take the edge of your yarn and place it inside one of the cuts. Bring the string around the back of one of the flaps and the front of the one beside it, like that. Around the back of the next one and the front of that one. Can you see each time we are skipping a part at the front? So go all the way around and when you get back to the start, the reason we made the odd number of cuts at the beginning is that now we just keep weaving and we fill in those gaps we made the first time. Keep going right the way till you get up to the bumpy bit of the basket and you'll have something that looks like this. So the next thing we need to do is all those parts of the plate here that are sticking up, we need to glue down. So. Using a paintbrush or a glue wand, take a little bit of PVA glue and paint it along the top of the plate. Fold it down and hold it down for about 10 seconds. Do the same to each side of the bowl. Now we need to put the bottom of the bowl in place. You can use some string, like this basket here, or 
you can cut out a little bit of felt in a circle. Take some more PVA glue, spread it all along the bottom of the bowl and press in your felt. Dick that down into place like that. And there you have it, your very own woven bowl. So I, hang on. We didn't say we were making bowls today, did we? No, we were making baskets. So what do we need to turn our bowl into a basket? A handle. So to make the handle, take a piece of card about the length of your big ruler, about 30 centimeters. Take a little bit more of that PVA glue and paint all along one side of it, like that. You can see it getting nice and shiny. That's how you know that there's enough glue. Take some yarn, place it at the edge of the card, leaving a little gap at the front, and just wrap it all the way around the yarn. Keep going until you reach the end and you'll have something like this. So to stick that to our basket, one more time, take some PVA glue and paint those edges we kept visible of the card. Take your basket and in those gaps, Place the handle into the gaps and hold it there for about 10 seconds to let everything stick together. And there you have it, your very own woven basket. You can use it to hold your pens and pencils. You can give it as a gift to someone or you can keep it for yourself. It's up to you. It's your very own woven basket. Give it a go. Let's see, can you make one with loads of different colors? Can you try weaving with two different colors? Let's see how you get on.